our class in PLE Agricultural Crop Production. We need your module in PLE, Normal Pen, Paper, and Highlighter. This is now the start of the third quarter. Let's get started. This lesson particularly deals with the different parts of plant that can be directly planted. It also includes methods of direct planting, depth and rate of planting, and distance of planting vegetable seeds, and the tools and implements to be used. Have you experienced planting seeds and seedlings of vegetable crops? What were your considerations in selecting planting materials? Planting means the placing of propagating materials, either seeds, vegetated parts of plants, seeds, cuttings, tubers, rhizomes, and clothes. Planting elm on the soil or at the bottom of the furrows, and then usually covering them subsequently with soil. Sowing is the most important operation in the crop production. Seed must be deposited at the required depth, poison of soil, so as to get the optimum condition for its germination. Sowing is also the placing of a specified quantity of seeds in soil in the optimum position for its germination and growth. Two shallow sowing results in thin germination. That is due to the adequate moisture at the top soil layer. Similarly, if the seeds are sown very deeply into the soil, the young seedlings may not be able to push their shoots above through thick layer of soil. Seeds must be sown at proper depth and should be properly covered with soil so as to get the adequate moisture for its germination. Seeds are sown either directly in the field or in the nurseries, which they are raised and be transplanted later. Generally, large seeds are planted directly in the ground or in a garden. Some vegetable crops do not need special care and are planted directly in the ground. Some of these plants are the legumes, like mongo, beans, and others. Vegetable fruit crops like okra, squash, pupo, and patola. Parts of plants directly planted in the ground are the seeds and cuttings. Cuttings are pieces of stem placed under suitable conditions which will produce new plants. Points to consider in selecting cuttings. First, Cuttings should be taken from started plants. 2. They should come from productive plants planted in productive land. 3. They should be free from diseases and insect pests. 4. They should be stocky and uniform in size. Kinds of cuttings 1. Root cuttings just like the rimas. Stem cuttings just like camote. No cuttings just like the kanko. Planting cuttings. Plant only one cutting to a leaf. Plant cuttings in slanting position. Number 3. Underground runners. The underground section of the plant is used as planting materials. Runners or suckers are clipped off from the parent plants and then plant to the field before they get dry. They are usually set in rich and rows. Examples of the crops are the arrow roots, ginger, taro, and gum. Number 4. The bulk portion of the plant is used as planting materials. Example is the garlic. Number 5. Root and tuber. Some crops are best propagated or planted by the use of the roots or the tubers. The root of tuber is cut into halves or quarters, each sections of which should have two light 
or three alive pods or eyes. Methods of direct planting. First is by using machine. Most commercial gardeners plant seeds with machine planters, fillers, and the likes. Machines do the work much better and more rapidly than by hand sewing. The common seed fillers often the furrow, drop the seeds, over them, and pack the soil at one operation. These drillers can be regulated and sow at various weights at the depth desired. Sowing seeds by hand. Planting seeds by hand is commonly practiced by home gardeners and in not too wide field. Seeds should be distributed uniformly in the furrow and covered immediately to prevent loss of moisture and bring the soil into close with the soil. The methods of planting seeds by hand. Number one, hill planting. This is commonly done by having three to four seeds per hill. Number two, broadcast method. This means scattering seeds uniformly by hand over a well prepared field and then covering the seeds with soil through the help of light implement or plant. Advantage of broadcasting over the other methods. It is a quicker and cheaper method as far as cost of labor in planting is concerned. Implements are not required for sowing. Skilled labor is not required for sowing. It can be done in moist condition. Disadvantage. It requires more seed per unit area. Seeds fall at different depth, resulting in an even and gaffy plant stand as shallow sown seeds may not germinate. Due to adverse moisture condition and germination of deep sown seed have an adverse effect due to them. Interculture operation is difficult as the spacing is not maintained. Even distribution of seed and hands. Crop growth results in excess competition, a certain area and no competition at some areas. Loss of seed by birds and insects. It's not properly covered with soil. Drill line power sowing. Sowing of seeds in a line on a large scale is generally done with the help of sowing implements such as seed driller or permium seed called drilling. Drilling seeds is done continuously in rows or lines, furrows at regular interval. This method is adapted for pure cropping or intercropping. In addition to this, fertilizer drill is also used, where fertilizers and seeds are sold simultaneously on the side depth of soil. The bandages of drill are line or sow. Seed placement is done at a proper and uniform depth, resulting in the uniform germination. Seed rate, seed rate requires less as compared to broadcast method. It avoids overcrowding of seedling and maintains uniform spacing between two rows. Cultivation is carried out easily. Sowing depth can be adjusted in order to place the seed at moist zone. Its advantages It requires seeds drill for sowing. Hence, it is costly than broadcast method. A skilled person is required to carry out sowing operation. If not, the seeds are not sown properly, which may cause an even germination and ultimately poor span of the crops. Rate of planting Among the factors to be considered with regards to the quantity of seeds to plant are First, viability of the seeds. Seeds known to be low in viability should be planted more thickly than those having high viability. Next, seeds held over from one year to the next planting season should be tested for germination. If the present phase of germination is low, or if the sprouts are weak, the seed should not be planted. Number two, the condition of the soil. When the soil and weather conditions are unfavorable, more seeds should be planted 
than when the conditions are favorable. Three, the size and the value of the plants. Seeds that produce delicate and weak plants, such as carrots, should be planted quite thickly to ensure good stand. Any excess of plants can be removed to prevent crowding. Four, the possible ravages of insects. In planting seeds, it is common practice to plant freely in order to have several times as many plants that are needed. Later on, you can practice thinning if you found out that your plants are crowded. Depth of planting In places where there is heavy rainfall, seeds should be planted shallow for if planted deeply into the soil during rainy season, the seeds will decay. As a rule, Seeds should be at a depth at least the seeds. Be able to come out well of the ground before the reserve food in the seed becomes fully consumed and at the same time afford the high anchorage of the roots. Size of seeds partly determines the depth in which they are to be planted. We have here now the table of distance of planting of some vegetable crops. First column tells us the crop. Second column is the distance of planting between fields and row. The third column are the depth of planting of each vegetable crop. And the last row would be the rate of seeding. Classify the plant parts according to how they could be directly planted, either by seeds, cuttings, underground runners, bulb or root, and tuber. Write your answers in your test notebook or in a sheet of paper. Let's start. 1. Beans And the answer is okay, number two, Kamote. And the answer is okay, number three, Ginger. See you again in the next video lesson.